fundamentally, it's employers who can inspire students to consider engineering as a career. And international aerospace company, MBDA, is at the forefront of a variety of schemes, from robot challenges to university placements, aimed at encouraging the next generation of engineers. Our reporter, Ivor Bennett, went to learn more. Engineering at its most explosive. When it comes to missiles like these, precision is everything. Up to 10 years of meticulous manufacturing, but just a matter of seconds from trigger to target. It's big programs, um, big funding, big, big interesting technologies, and it's tangible, and it's out there. It's supporting our armed forces, you can see it in the newspaper. Um, so, so I think that that was, that was quite important to me, to see tangible output from the work that I'm doing. I'm not just sat at a desk, number crunching. Dan joined MBDA on its graduate scheme in 2008. Within just two years, he was conducting live firing trials in Sweden. He's now a senior engineer in charge of part of Britain's future air defence system, a learning curve that's as steep as it is rewarding. There is a skill gap at the moment, so we can't afford to make up jobs. We can't afford not to have people delivering for the business and for the armed forces. So therefore, every job you get, you will be delivering something that is tangibly beneficial to the company. That philosophy is perhaps best illustrated among MBDA's apprentices. Take Chloe, for example. A third-year apprentice, she currently works in the mechanical analysis department, where missiles are exposed to all the stresses and strains they'll endure during flight. Working down in Portsmouth on the ships, I did a, a missile offload there, uh, and that was quite fun, sort of um, helping taking the, the missiles out of the containers uh, and sort of running up and down the ladders and making sure everything was OK. It was a real sort of hands-on job, uh, and I always enjoyed the practical side of engineering. Leaving school at 16 isn't an easy choice to make, but like Chloe, Danielle has never looked back. I like the fact that I could earn my own money, but I knew at the same time I needed extra qualifications. So I saw this route, thought, well, I get the best of both. I get my, um, I earn and I learn. In engineering, education never stops. Every day presents a new and exciting challenge. There's nothing new about the industry's biggest challenge, though how to inspire the next generation. Investment is massively important in all, in all senses of that word of investment, but it is across the entire spectrum of STEM that we need to look at. We need to go all the way down to grassroots and really understand why people aren't getting into maths, why aren't people getting into science. I think that there is this kind of stereotype on engineering that it's only a male job. You're kind of in boiler suits and you're like fixing cars or um, you may be an electrician. And my grandparents still think I'm an electrician. That's where the robot rumble comes in, where school children have to build a robot from scratch to compete against others. It's now in its 10th year, and with 18 schools taking part, it's bigger than ever. Sam helps run the contest, and it's proof, he says, that grassroots can turn into shoots. A student in one of the teams 10 years ago, he's now working for MBDA, so it kind of proves that it's a it's a full cycle and that, um, it, you know, is inspiring young kids. When I first joined, there was only a few women in engineering. There was only maybe two a year, and now there's pretty much even female to males. It's not just quantity the industry needs, but quality too. And where better to look than the military itself? Kevin spent 26 years in the army as a mechanical engineer before going from customer to supplier by ensuring that we can uh, work with them to develop the areas that are missing, uh, areas of opportunity. Uh, we can provide what they need when they need it. It's the whole force concept where industry is part of uh, defence. Harnessing that relationship is vital for both MBDA and the industry. By tapping into an existing well of talent, they can help create a new one, developing the cutting-edge technologies that will inspire the next generation of engineers.